are you wondering what is the difference between the new iPad 11 and the older generation 10 iPad? First, when it comes to visual difference, probably the biggest visual difference is in the box. So this is essentially what the box of the new one looks like. Uh, but uh, the visual difference on the iPads themselves pretty much are non-existent really. So the only visual difference really is on this new one, as you see, basically we do not have any writing that it's an iPad. So on the old 10, you would see that it's an iPad essentially. So only we have this Apple logo. When it comes to the size, uh, colors, and basically the button layout and thickness and weight, and everything else really visually you really can't tell them apart so if i were to tell you that this old one you would probably believe it because it does look like old one so as you see the design really is the same so again the size thickness and also weight also is one to one so to the exact gram essentially but obviously this isn't a bad thing since the design of uh, this yeah basically ipad is excellent so and this again is a blue one i think it looks absolutely stunning again we don't really have any difference in the colors this, basically the blue on the 10 looks the same as the blue on this one essentially so and also on the front essentially we also have the same 10.9 inch display for example if you go on apple's website and you check the uh, basically the 11 versus 10 basically then you can see that the 11 essentially has 11 inch display but that's actually not true it's really the same display apple only has rounded it up so again this is a bit misleading and also when it comes to display quality and also brightness how bright this actually can get outdoors and viewing angles again it's the same so again we do not uh, see any like uh, physical or visual changes apart again from that lack of uh, like uh, ipad writing on the back so again if you wanted to get the freshest looking ipad really then there is no difference whatsoever and all the difference really is in the hardware what's actually inside in this new ipad essentially we get the newest a16 cpu compared to the a14 essentially and the cpu essentially is around 25 5 to 30 percent faster in most tasks really so this is uh, the geekbench results also we get 6 gigabytes of ram in the uh, previous generation 10 we only had 4 gigabytes of ram so essentially you can multitask better on this ipad and again basically overall the performance will be significantly better on this new one so really it's all about performance really this year and not about the design changes so these are some scores essentially if you want to compare basically single score and also multi score for example this new ipad versus maybe like the pro model so which costs like crazy amount of money but again in the real life uh, really this uh, ipad 11 for 99 percent of tasks will be really just as fast as the more more expensive pro model so the ipad is absolutely absolutely yeah freaking amazing i think when it comes to performance this year so again i think they have like made a device that uh, will basically hurt them so in sales for other devices it's that good so everything is very smooth everything loads pretty much instantly and yeah i'm absolutely in love with the like performance of this new ipad and also the base model the cheapest ipad essentially starts at 128 gigabytes uh, of storage so the previous generation 10 only had 64 gigabytes of storage essentially and what this means uh, you simply have more storage available for your pictures videos movies and whatever also also, if you, for example, go in the settings and, for example, check the available storage, essentially, as you can see, uh, actually, the iPad system itself takes up maybe like 20 gigabytes. So, again, on the 64 gigabyte version, you are only left maybe like with like 40 gigabytes of actual storage that you can use. But on this one, uh, it's around basically like... Uh, over 100 gigabytes of that you can use so there is like actually like almost three times the like storage difference in which you can use so again definitely for the storage alone i think this is also really good upgrade also not only the storage space has been upgraded also the overall read and write speeds for the ssd storage also have been upgraded and it's like about two times faster so again if you need to transfer large files or again uh, open some folders with a lot of files again this will be much much faster and again for file transfer 
again maybe downloads also where you need to basically transfer huge files again this would be absolutely crazy good and when it comes to the cameras on ipads we actually get the same ha camera hardware essentially on the back and also the front facing camera is really the same hardware but actually they claim that they have improved uh, essentially basically the performance a bit of the cameras maybe using software also this uh, new ipad essentially has this smart hdr4 as well so again maybe it's colors and a bit of processing and how overall the pictures would look like would be slightly better on this new one but again uh, compared to uh, iphone still this camera lacks so hardcore essentially uh, i think the dynamic range isn't the best as compared to like iphone pictures so again but uh, as you can see basically we can still get fairly good amount of details by the way if you want to see some more samples and also like video samples uh, taken with the camera you can also check my other videos i have full review on this tablet actually also the bluetooth has been upgraded a bit so from 5.2 standard to 5.3 so but in real life you won't really see any difference between them and also after using this ipad for a few days i also think the battery life is slightly better than on the previous one and i suspect it's solely due to that new cpu which again as not only is more powerful but also more efficient so again basically if you play some games then the cpu simply won't struggle as much as on the previous and again this ipad is able to run pretty much any latest game so i have tried and it runs everything battery smooth so again when it comes to performance i absolutely love it and the final difference probably is in the price for example in uk you can uh, get it for like 329 but also if you go through some education discounts you can drop this to like 300 pounds and for that price i think it's absolutely insane value for money and for example if you compare to like uh, any android tablet then this completely destroys everything so when it comes to for example the build quality is overall performance so again it's very very powerful uh, more powerful than any android tablet uh, at this price essentially and again we get excellent build quality nice speakers cameras are fairly decent actually i would say still not as good as iphone but still usable so for this price if you can get those education discounts essentially it's like 300 pounds or in united states like 350 dollars something like that so definitely this 128 gigabyte storage uh, is plenty really for 99 percent of the people to pay extra i, I think that's a complete scam uh, so when it comes to the past ipad 10 uh, before uh, this launch it i actually checked the like resale values and the ipad 10 could be sold in uk in good condition for like 270 pounds so again there is even if at the full price there is only like 50 pound difference really so and at the moment if you are able to sell your uh, past ipad then then i would do it straight away and simply purchase this new one so again i i saw basically in ebay listings and sold listings that the past ipad 10 uh, can essentially be sold for around 270 so it really yeah makes no sense why would actually spend that much on the past if this one actually costs this little so uh, also by the way the like launch price also on the past ipad 10 was actually larger than on this one so they actually have dropped the price down uh, on this ipad essentially when it comes to new prices which is absolutely awesome you do not see that these days anyway yeah if you are looking for the best value for money tablet this really is and apple i think have outdone themselves for example if you look at their other launches other products i do not think they are value for money but this one i think it's absolutely amazing tablet anyway good luck